Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I'm giving you guys an update on iOS 18.3 Which is of course the latest update to iOS 18 and we have some more new features to talk about and some awesome details regarding this update also, we're taking a look at the battery life and performance and everything that Apple has actually improved quite a lot with this update. What initially looked like a small update, and it is a small update if you just take a look at the new features and changes because there are not a lot of them, but it turns out it's actually a massive update when it comes to everything else, battery performance and bug fixes as well. But first of all, let's go ahead and talk about some of the new features that we have been able to discover on iOS 18.3 that we hadn't had a chance to actually mention on the previous videos. Now, first of all, we'll be this one on the music app. Now, when you go to the music app, if you use the Apple music app, you will notice that there is a new zoom animation when you go in and out like albums or different playlists, like you can see right here, you will have that little cool animation which zooms out like that, which is pretty cool. Also, as you probably know, with iOS 18.3, now Apple has turned on Apple intelligence by default. So when you have a device with 18.3, you no longer need to go to the settings app and turn on Apple intelligence. It will be turned on by default. But what's new when it comes to Apple intelligence is also the setup screen, which now is part of the setup process of your iPhone. So, you know, when you get a new iPhone, you will go through a setup process, a few things that you have to set up, of course, like Siri and all that stuff, your face ID and all that. Now, when you get a new device, which has iPhone, iOS 18.3 installed on it, you will also get the Apple intelligence, which will be one of the new steps of the setup process when setting up your new iPhone. Another really useful feature that Apple has added to iOS 18.3 is a new block button on the voicemail. So when you go to the voicemail here and you have received a voicemail from a number, now you will have there a block number, which actually allows you to block that contact or that number, whatever that is. So from here, don't actually need to go back to your contacts or go to that number in order to block it. You will have now on the voicemail UI, a new button, which actually allows you to block that number from there. Now, despite the new features and changes, there are a few of them, of course, there have been also a ton of different fixes on iOS 18.3. The astronomy wallpaper has actually now been fixed and is centered correctly. This was an issue before where it was just like not centered correctly. Now, if you use any of these, you will see that Apple has actually fixed it with iOS 18.3. And of course, if you use T-Mobile, now you will have the ability to connect to Starlink. Apple has enabled this feature. Basically, in the background, it has been enabled. They didn't even announce it. But if you're a T-Mobile user, you will be able to actually send messages through Starlink when you don't have connectivity on your device. That, of course, will be useful for a lot of people. And hopefully, that will expand very, very soon to other carriers and maybe other countries as well. That would actually be an awesome feature. And the touch screen and keyboard unresponsiveness has actually been fixed finally with iOS 18.3. Now that was a bug that I had actually been experiencing a lot on my device on iOS 18.2 and even 18.2.1. In my case here, I've seen a lot of reports from different users, but in my case, most of that would happen right here. When I would go to the app library, the screen would just be unresponsive. That has been fixed finally. And the keyboard issue, the unresponsiveness of the keyboard has also been fixed. Fortunately, I didn't have that problem on my device, but according to a lot of iPhone users, it ha actually has been fixed with this update. Now, of course, as with every other update, the battery is one of the most important things. And I can freely say that in my experience using iOS 18 since beta one since last June, I've actually gotten the best battery life with iOS 18.3. Now we can take a look right here at the battery reports. And first of all, let's go to the battery health. And you can see this is a device with 91% maximum capacity. Probably it's even lower, but it's not displaying correctly because it has stayed like this for like 
three months now, probably somewhere around 87. And even with this battery not being that healthy at all, we're getting very good battery lives. So you can see here the last 10 days. And of course, as with every other update, you cannot judge the battery life the first four or five days because the update is freshly installed. It's working in the background. All those processes, those will require a ton of battery life. But after a few days, you can actually see the true battery life of that device. So here we have the last couple of days at exactly 100% battery, 10 hours, 47 minutes on screen, which is very good. Of course, just keep in mind that the battery health is probably below 90%. And then right here we have 7 hours, 46 minutes, right here with about 115% battery, 9 hours, 14 minutes. And then right here again, 120% battery, 9 hours, 29 minutes. And you can see right here with about 150% battery, 15 hours actually on screen, which in my opinion is amazing. Always, as I said, keeping in mind the battery health of this device. So it's actually very, very good. And one of the best parts of this update has actually been the performance. And you can see this is the best score that I've been able to get with iOS 18.3 on Geekbench 6. Again, this is an iPhone 15 Pro Max, and this is the score that I got, 2,958 on the single core score, while we got a 7,510 multi-core score now you can see right here just to compare this to ios 18.2 we have a slight increase right there on the single core score but just notice the increase here which is quite big on the multi-core score so 7510 it used to be 7383 so a very very huge score when it comes to geekbench 6. so what's next ios 18.3 has been released for almost two weeks now what we're waiting for are two updates one of course is confirmed ios 18.3.1 is coming out it has been detected and it's actually in the works it should be released very very soon most likely within a week or two we should have that update released to the public of course that's a small update it won't go through beta stages is just of course designed to fix different security things and of course improve ios that's one that will be released again directly to the public but we're also waiting for ios 18.4 which will go on beta 1 we have been expecting actually to be released this week it didn't happen so most likely it will happen at the beginning of this upcoming week so the 10th or 11th of february might be the days where we get ios 18.4 released to the to the devs of course on its first beta now as, as i said this update actually has been we have been waiting for this update for a few days now but it will be quite big it will bring the new siri features big new siri features and other changes and it will most likely be the biggest update to ios 18 so we might have some delays here but we'll have to wait and see if it will actually finally be released this week now that of course will go through a few beta stages and then the rc version and you can expect it sometime in april maybe like towards the middle of april we can expect ios 18.4 to be released to the public after it goes probably through like five or six beta stages so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did and of course subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one